I'm Erica Rhodes with D210 Television, and I am sitting here with D210's own Don Newfeld of the new show, Football Wives. Don, how are you doing? I'm doing good. A little tired, but very excited. A very big project coming up, so thanks for being here. No problem. Okay, so the show. Yes. It airs this Sunday, October 24th. How excited are you? We're very excited. We do premiere this Sunday. It's been a long time coming. We were in production for three months. So it'll be fun to finally see um, all of the hard work and, and time put in coming to fruition. And so we're having a big premiere party and we're hoping everyone comes out. It should be fun. I know you can't really talk about the show too much, but what can viewers expect from Football Wives? Um, I think Football Wives gives a very good indication of what it's like to be a wife. You have people like Amanda Davis. You know, she's married to Leonard Davis. He's one of the highest paid offensive linemen in the NFL. So they're just, you know, they're balling out of control. Right. Uh, and she is just over the top in every way imaginable. And then the story of my husband, Ryan, and I is we're kind of tra transitioning out of football. Mm. So we tell that story. And it's not an, it's not an easy transition. Everyone right. thinks football's all glitz and glamour. You know, I like to say it's a life of privilege, mm -hmm. but not without some sacrifices. And I think we'll be able to, to show that. Awesome. Now, do you ever interact with the other football wives and girlfriends and ex-girlfriends? Oh, sure. I mean, most of the time we were, were filming, they either film in our homes or we were just dealing with our families. But a lot of the situations we were together and hanging out and, okay. and doing stuff all over the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I mean, we have literally covered this city. Wow. And um, a lot of people ask, well, is it staged? No, it's not staged. <laughs> I mean, what people are going to see is very real. Mm -hmm. um, it's not scripted. Um, you know, that we, we might have said it, it might have been barbecue day. So, I mean, that's the extension of how scripted and staged it is. Everything that happened from that point on is real. Okay. And, um, you know, you're going to see some fighting and some disagreeing. We're not always going to get along. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's all real. I mean, oftentimes the camera stopped rolling and, and, and the drama didn't stop. So, oh, wow. mm hmm. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your part in Football Wives, like your story with Ryan. And I know that you're a lawyer, you have a son, and tell me a little bit about that. Um, I got involved with this project after another one of the wives involved, Shanita Foster, suggested me. You know, I've got a, a, a decent story, a husband with a good pro career. Um, he played seven years in the NFL and, and played a couple years in the UFL. Um, but I'm also a lawyer. And I also do some hosting and some acting. And I do have two children and I manage a household. So, you know, there's so much going on that I think a lot of people might be able to um, understand and sort of can, can see where I'm coming from on things and, and hopefully relate. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to sort of knock down that wall of, of where all these pretentious, you know, stuck up chicks with a lot of money. <laughs> We're not all like that. There may be some. I don't know too many of them. Um, so that's kind of our story. We, we met in college at UCLA and um, we'll be married 10 years next March. Wow. So, you know, we've kind of defied some of the odds and I hope we can tell that story. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, just telling everyone to check in and watch the show. It'll be fun. I promise you won't be disappointed. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And of course, stay tuned for D210 for Football Wives Updates. That's right. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.